everybody. You guys know me? I'm Harry James. It is time for the OU Post Game Report. We will recap, finally recap, an Oklahoma Sooner victory, Brent's first victory, as the Sooners chip the Miners in Norman 45 to 13. All right, guys, find out what I mean. Plus, mad props and big thanks to a local uh, TV anchor. Coming up next, Boomer Sooner 1982. Don't go away! I'll be right back! back to the show everybody you guys know me I'm Harry James first the local TV personality I would like to thank Dylan Buckingham of Channel 4 and KAUT got me on the sports broadcast for his highlight package for the Sooners and the El Paso Miners thank you big guy so he did that because of the Sooners and what didn't help me, and what helped me feel so good and feel so excited, was a 45 to 13 win for the Sooners over the Niners in Brent Venables' first game back in Norman. How did it get so out of hand? Well, we'll tell you right now. Stats and otherwise. We'll start with stats, passing stats, more specifically. Uh, for UTEP it, for, on the passing era, it was all about two, Gavin Harrison, who passed for 244 yards, didn't throw a touchdown, did throw a pick. His longest completion, 24 yards. For the Sooners, the passing was all about the Gabriel, Dylan Gabriel, who did not disappoint after coming over from Central Florida. And in his first Oklahoma appearance, threw for 233 yards through the air, Two touchdowns, didn't throw a pick, and his longest completion, 42 yards. Rushing the ball for UTEP, that is, first. 12 carries for Antoine Roland, a Watt Roland. 12 rushes, 43 yards, and a touchdown. His longest run, 8 yards. While well, Dion. Henderson also played really well. Henderson, six carries, 16 yards, zero touchdowns. Longest run for him, six yards. Oklahoma and their running game, they played really well, including tw uh, zero Eric Gray and 24 Marcus Major. Starting with Gray, Eric Gray, number zero Eric Gray. Again, this time going over 100 yards for Coach Lebby and company with only 16 carries. 16 carries, 102 yards, and zero touchdowns. Longest run, 35 yards. The major decision was to play Marcus Major as the power back. They did that to the tone of seven carries for 54 yards and a couple of touchdowns. That's two touchdowns, by the way. The longest run, 27 yards. UTIP, uh, three Josh uh, Flores, seven carry, seven catches, 67 yards and zero touchdowns. Longest catch for him was uh, 20 yards. As t also Tyron Smith, eight carries, 17 yards, zero touchdowns. Longest run for him, five yard, uh, five yards. Uh, Longest reception. For the Sooners of Oklahoma now, 
three catches, 81 yards, and zero touchdowns for the marvelous Marvin Evans, wearing number 17. Also had a long catch and run of 42 yards on receptions. What about this guy, guys? Braden Willis, three touchdowns, three catches, 40 yards, for all three touchdowns, longest reception, 28 yards. So we've talked to offense. Now let's talk a little defense. Justice Prince and Trice Knight for UTEP. Uh, Ten tackles, zero force fumbles, zero fumbles, recovered zero picks for the defensive back Justin Prince. Also, uh, Trice Knight had a good night defensively. Nine total tackles, zero force fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks for the linebacker Trice uh, Knight. For the Sooners, Billy Bowman. Where's number five for the Sooners? Five, Billy Bowman. And 28, Danny Stutzman. Defensive back, safety corner, number five, Billy Bowman. At the end of the day, had nine total tackles, zero forced fumbles, zero fumbles recovered, zero picks. As did Danny Stutzman, 29 linebacker. Nine total tackles, zero forced fumbles. Zero fumbles recovered, zero picks. Punters, Josh Sloan and Michael Turk for Oklahoma. UTEP, uh, Sloan, Joseph Sloan, five punts, 42.2 on average, one landed inside the 20-yard line, zero touchbacks, and a long kick punt, 48 yards. Turk, Turk Michael Turk, three punts, 43.45.3 on average, zero inside the 20 one touchback, and a long-distance punt of 55 yards. So that was the offense. Now let's talk about the defense, uh, offense, defense, and special teams. The other part of the special teams is, of course, the kicking, and that is Gavin Buscelli and Zachary Schmidt for Oklahoma. Buscelli, Gavin Buschel, 100%, a long kick. Of 54 yards and a kick of 48. So 48 yards and a long kick of 54 yards at the end. One for one for the Smitty. Kicker Smitty, Zach Smith. One for one, 100% long kick there. The one single kick he had, 22 yards. All right, guys, that's that. Now let's talk about some highlights. You ready for this one? Dylan. Gabriel got it all started up front in the first quarter as a 12-yard touchdown run and scramble, draw, whatever you want to call it. He's in the end zone. Doesn't matter how you pull it. That's what it is. 13:43 uh, left. Sooners lead 17, uh, 7 to nothing. They increase the lead with Braden's first of three touchdowns from Gabriel. This one is six-yard touchdown pass with 9:18 left. 14 nothing good guys of Oklahoma. Then came the guy from Bishop from uh, Oklahoma Heritage Hall Academy. That's 82. Gavin Freeman, 46 yards in the route to the end zone. 21 to nothing Sooners. 6:43 left. They're cruising for a bruising. In the first quarter, end of first quarter. Second quarter, here comes UTEP with a little grit and fight back, including a 48-yard field goal by Gavin Buccelli with 14-12 left, 21-3 Sooners. So, uh, they then get on the board normally with a t regular touchdown with Ronald A. Watt, two-yard touchdown run, 8-18 left. It is 21-10 Sooners. Then, the second one of the night, uh, his second touchdown of the night by uh, Braden Willis, 28-yard uh, touchdown pass from Gabriel to Braden Willis, 55 seconds left to go in the, uh, till half, 28-10 Sooners in that one. Then came the third quarter, and in the third quarter, it was all major Major decision by major to play in the third quarter. 
Sooners gave him an opportunity. He capitalized twice, including a one-yard touchdown run with 10-48, 35-10 Sooners. But that wasn't enough, so he did another one with 316 left, a six-yard touchdown run by, again, Marcus Major, 42-10 Sooners. Then Buccelli does it. Uh, then we go to the fourth quarter where Buccelli will knock in another field goal. 54 yards out for this one. 42-13 Sooners. Sooners get the final score of the night with a 22-yard kick by Zach Schmidt. 45-13 final there. All right, guys, play, plays of the game, offensively play of the game, was a Gavin Freeman, or, yeah, Gavin Freeman, uh, number 82 in your heart for the Sooners, 46-yard into route. That was awesome. And defensively, 24, Gentry Williams, the freshman from Booker T, picks off the pass in the end zone for the final play of the U. Tap night. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry James. Catch us in all my other videos on the YouTube of Mercedes 1982. Also, Facebook Harry James Taylor or the Twitter handle at Hype Man Harry. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Boomer Sooner. Everybody, guess I'm out of here. Peace.